If you choose the in-center dialysis, you go for 15, 16 hours a week. It's just like a little part-time job. Hospitals and community-based centers across BC are equipped with facilities for people who require assistance with dialysis. People who receive dialysis in hospitals tend to be less healthy and need to be closer to the services provided in a hospital. Those who go to community dialysis centers often require some assistance or are not able to dialyze at home. Marn Peterson leads an active, independent life. A retired recreational therapist, she has two amputations due to diabetic neuropathy. The treatment itself is four hours, but generally I'm there five hours. When I get there, first thing, I have to weigh. And you write down how much you weigh. You have to take your temperature and write that down so that when the nurse calls you in for your treatment, you can give her the little piece of paper and that's like part of the work already done. I have very little feeling in the hands because the nerve endings are dying. So I have a difficult time pinching. I have to look to see that I've, you know, picked up a letter and I have it in my hand. I have to look because I can't feel if it's slipped out or I've lost it. Hemodialysis is a treatment that cleans the blood. At least three times a week, blood is withdrawn from the body by a dialysis machine and passed through an artificial kidney that helps to remove the waste products from the blood. Each treatment takes from four to five hours. In order to have hemodialysis, you need a functioning access for the dialysis machine to connect to your bloodstream. This requires surgery and takes time to set up and heal, so whenever possible, the surgery is done well before the start of treatment. The access is usually created through a fistula, or a graft. A fistula is made by joining an artery and a vein. A graft involves inserting a short piece of tubing that functions as an artificial vein. In some cases, where the veins are too small to provide adequate blood flow for hemodialysis, or when access to the bloodstream is needed quickly, a central venous catheter is required. This catheter is a tube surgically inserted into a large vein at the side of the neck. The advantages to in-center dialysis is that you can read or you can watch television, you can sleep. You do have a little bit of freedom of what you want to do while you're there for the four hours. Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday I have dialysis and Monday, Wednesday and Friday I like to go swimming. I swim for an hour. I find it very refreshing, very revitalizing. It's good exercise. It's a time where I can, I have a chance just to think about things without having any interruptions. So it's good mentally for me as well. My general health is really pretty good. Um, I certainly feel good on days that I swim and I think it's because of the exercise on the Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, I feel okay, but after dialysis, I usually have a, a sleep. In order to maximize the benefits of hemodialysis, you will need to take medications, eat a healthy diet, exercise regularly, and restrict your intake of fluids. I think that your attitude towards having the kidney disease has to be a positive attitude. I swim, I play cards, I go shopping, I get my hair done, I get my nails done. You can still live a very fulfilling life. Hemodialysis treatment is part of a total care plan, which includes diet, exercise, and medical reviews on a regular basis. Facility-based kidney care teams include kidney doctors or nephrologists, as well as nurses, dietitians, pharmacists, social workers, and renal technicians. 
you will work with your kidney care team to maintain your health as well as possible. Remember, you are the most important person on your health care team. The more you take charge of your health and your care, the better you will feel. For a list of hemodialysis units in BC, go to the BC Renal Agency's website, www.bcrenalagency.ca.